If you're interested to write a book and sell it online as a PDF or an ebook of sorts, then this video is for you. Now this video is gonna cover specifically how to sell it on your own, not specifically as a self-published author on Amazon or anything like that, although you can also do that. But in this video, I'm gonna refer specifically to how to create the book in a way where you can sell it online and also be able to have that delivered to your client once they make a purchase. Now, this is a question that I received from a client of mine and I wanted to share it with you. So they asked, "Are you? I am looking for a tool or app for setting my ebook. I want to sell it for a certain amount and have people read it, but not have them be able to forward it to others who have not bought it. What would be a good solution? So I'm going to share with you a couple of solutions. One is the more extreme solution and another one is the milder solution. So the first one is a solution which is a milder option and that is simply to password protect your PDF. And I'll show you what I mean. So when you are, let's say pretend that this, what you're seeing right now in front of you is the actual ebook. So what you can do is you can actually just download it as a PDF and you can download this as a PDF. It doesn't matter if you're using this using Google Doc to write your book or you're using Canva, just download it as a PDF, export it as a PDF. Then you go to a website called tinywow, tinywow.com. What you're gonna do is you're going to look over the PDF aspect right here and you can see that you can click here on protect PDF. Now, when you click on it, all you gotta do, uh, it see, you see where it says add a password to a PDF. So you can upload from the PC or the computer. We're gonna grab the ebook that I just created, the ebook, the PDF. And now I can choose a password. So I'm just gonna password it one, two, three, just for the sake of demonstration. A, B, C, okay, it's still saying it's weak. Anyway, let's, let's, um, let me just grab some text from here. Okay, so protect, and then I gotta do the recapture. I'm not gonna save this. Now it's processing. A few seconds later, because this is a very, very short PDF, it's already ready to go. It says your file is ready. So I can click here, save to device, and you will see that it will download it. This time it's downloading it as tiny wow secure PDF. Now I'm going to try and open it, and you will see that it's actually got a password protection. So I'm gonna click on trying to type it in, submit, and only then it will open. Now let's just try it again and do the wrong password. So I'm gonna put something that's incorrect, submit, incorrect password, and now the PDF is protected. Now obviously it's always going to be the same password. So if somebody starts sharing it or something like that, then that's going to be a little bit different, right? Like it's not, it's not gonna be as secure. So this is the mild version and there is workarounds. People can actually unprotect PDFs and stuff like that. If somebody really wants to dig in, they can actually go and do that. But anyway, that's the mild version. There is a more extreme version which is um, something that I do with my beginner's guide to email marketing. So you will notice, and this is a software called uh, Simple Booklet. Now you'll notice that this is my PDF link. Now, if I share this with you right now, you're not gonna be able to see it, even though it's got, um, it's, this is the actual link. It will say to learn more. Now the learn more, when you click on it, it is going to take you into my funnel where it's going to basically take you to um, my lead capture page to sell you the book. That's where it's going to take you to, okay? So now, the thing, reason I'm showing you that is because the reason this is set up is I actually have it password protected. And in this software called Simple Booklet, if you click here on secure link setup, you would notice that what I did is enter the web page URL where your simple booklet will be accessed. So I set up basically a specific lesson inside a course area in my system account where this is where the PDF is embedded. Now the PDF is simply like this, an iframe code like this, and I pasted it on the system IO page. System is the software that I use. I'll show it to you in a second. Now, even if you were to click on this and try to now access it here, you're going to see that you don't have any access because you don't have access to this, right? It's, you gotta be logged in. And only people, only people who see this PDF while logged in here are going to actually be able to see it. There's no other way around that. Now, the link that I got set up here 
is this link, which is basically what's the link for the learn more. So if people are saying, you know, trying to log in and get access, they can learn more about it here. So this is a great way to drive traffic from your book where people are trying to access without permission into your funnel in order to actually make a purchase of the book. So now I'm going to show you how this would look inside if I am logged in. So now I am logged in and what I'm doing it is I'm logged in through an incognito window. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to go to my incognito window, which is this one. And now I'm going to paste in this link. Now you will see that I'm actually logged in to the course area. And then you will see the ebook is actually right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually minimize me for a moment and you'll see that here I can actually read the book on the actual PDF. Now, I've got it set up also where I explain how this looks and that I recommend people read it by clicking on this button like that. So that way I can have them read my book and they've got, I've got their full attention basically. So this is the only way people can read my ebook in this particular option. Okay. And this is a very extreme protected way. Um, but anyway, that's, that's how I have it set up for this particular ebook. Now I can also tell you just, you know, when it comes to, um, how people get access to my ebook, I also had people who said, I like, I love it. And I've had a few people who said, I don't like it that way. I don't want to read it as a PDF. So what I did is I also set it up here so people can actually click and read it like a standard PDF, which is not password protected or anything like that. So that's the other option on how people could do it. Uh, but I wanted to give you these two versions because both versions work just fine, but you just got to decide how proprietary your information is. I guess that's really the main point. How much do you want shared and stuff like that? Um, I can also give you a perspective that I know that some people, for example, I think there was an interview with Robert Kiyosaki one day that I saw and somebody asked him, is he bothered with his book being shared around and, you know, people not paying for it. And he's, he was like, I, I got brand awareness from my book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, so much that, you know, it doesn't matter. Like it's free promotion basically. So there's a, an aspect where is your book proprietary enough that you're like, I don't want people to see it, they didn't buy it versus if people share it, well, heck, I'm getting free promotion, you know? So you just got to evaluate and depending on the book you're writing, you know, each book is different as well, right? If you are just selling, for example, a books and that is your sole business is books and you don't have any upsells, there's no brand you're building around the book and stuff like that. Well, that might, it might bother you that people are, are sharing it without paying for it. But, you know, if you're somebody like me who, you know, I, I, I monetize in other ways as well, not just the books that I have, like this book that I have, it's not like the end of the world, somebody shares it, you know, I'd love for him to pay for it, but you know, I'm not going to die over people, you know, I'm not going to go sue somebody because they shared it. You know what I mean? If they got value from this, great, I'm all happy. So there is, you just got to evaluate what is your situation and how that works for you. So that's about it. Hope you found this video helpful. Just to recap, tiny wow, PDF uh, protection, version number two, simple booklet. Now, by the way, Simple Booklet is a company that I personally use and love. I do offer also, I've got a reseller account. So if you do want to learn more a little, a little bit about that, just leave a comment for me below and I'll give you the link to go check out and learn a little bit more about that if you're interested in um, getting that for a cheaper rate than what is available on the actual website. So that's about it. Thanks all for watching. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon. Hey, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got value from this particular tutorial. This is a very typical question that I get in my tech support membership, which you can check out. There's going to be a link somewhere around here. And there's also going to be a little video where you can actually check out exactly how it is that I help people and how I answer these questions. I have a tech support membership. I answer questions in under 24 hours. I've got a support team helping me as well and over a hundred members to assist entrepreneurs just like you who are struggling with technology or don't waste your time trying to figure things out and rather ask somebody who already knows, we'll do the research for you, give you the tutorial so you can save time, save money and focus on what you enjoy doing instead of the techie stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. There's going to be a link somewhere around here and in the description. And that, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos like this. And I'm going to show you some other videos here that might be of interest to you. That's about it. Thanks a lot. And I'll speak to you soon.